There's another one. Ooh, yeah. This feels like a good fish. Oh, it's because it is. My word. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Twin Rivers Outdoors. Today, me and Jig Head Gage are gonna go out and fish a couple different bodies of water. Uh, we, the first place starts out kind of slow. Catch a couple good fish though. I'll show that right after this intro. You're gonna like that. There's some healthy fish in there. Next, we're gonna go to the second body of water. Uh, you can call it a huge pond, little lake, whatever you wanna call it. It's beautiful property. Great fish on the property. It's awesome. I love going there, great time. Been there before. I don't know if I put a video video out from there before, but it's great. Anyway, so we get to this new body of water and it's a little bit slow. I'm struggling a little bit. Gage is destroying the crappie, just absolutely destroying them. So I make a couple changes. Uh, the big one though, I switch it up to the double jig rig. That is what this video is all about, the double jig rig. Double jig rig, what your jig head weights are and your presentation. So I make a couple different adjustments and that made the world of difference for me. Check it out guys, you're gonna like what you see. Smash that like button, uh, give Gage a subscribe if you haven't already, Jig Head Gage, I'll leave a link in the description for his channel. And uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are gonna like this one. Stay tuned, we'll catch you later on. My name's Austin, thanks for joining Twin Rivers Outdoors. This is one of those bluegill. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, big crappie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's something. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Ate it good. There we are, ladies and gents. We're going to get on some crappie. All right, y'all. So, we're using this double jig today. If you guys want to catch more crappie, or anything for that matter, this jig, or this rig, will help you get it done. The double jig rig. Fantastic presentation that crappie, bass, bluegill, they just cannot stand it. I was messing up earlier. I had a 16th ounce jig head on the bottom and that just, it wasn't the move for me, I guess. I don't know, I was struggling a little bit watching Gage tear them up. So I cut that big one off, put a 32nd ounce on both of them on the double jig rig. And it was still a little slow. I was still doing a little medium slow retrieve on this riprap line and it must have been just a little bit too fast. I put this cork on and been absolutely destroying these fish ever since so we just figured them out and stick to it we're abusing that pattern and it's paying dividends for us yeah yeah there he is 
Bang, bang. Yep, this crappie. Uh, I've got, that was a green goblin for me. had this feeling you know that's what's up right there big old crappie so we're basically to the point where we're keeping we're keeping 12 inch fish and uh, bigger that's it that's wrong. That's wrong nothing else is good enough That was a good, that was a good bite. Yeah, I don't know. Is that, is that keeper to you? Heck yeah. Solid crappie there, folks. Bucket. We are still using this double jig rig here. Got a double jig underneath a cork. That fish right there slammed that. Double. I told you. Double. Oh, doubled up. Whoa. Whoa. Y'all see that? Bluegill crappie. Double jig rig. Madness. Come on. Come on with it. I'm going to let that crappie go, which is sad to say. That's probably a. I'd say he'd probably go 10, 9 or 10. And then a bluegill on the bottom. That's crazy right there, folks. That's crazy. That's why you use the double jiggering. It just gets it done. That would be pretty amazing. Gosh, golly dang. They're destroying it. What is this? My goodness. on this guy. Oh yeah. How big is that one? What's that? How big was that one? Ten and a half. This one's probably this one's probably ten too. You wanting it? Sure. Alrighty. Yeah, they're uh, they're tanking this bobber too. Yeah. Watch this. Go. 
I mean, what is this? Yeah. Piled up right there. Oh, got a hook in my glove. Got it. All right, good. It's crazy, but right now, that's a small fish. That is a small fish, and that's probably a 10, 11 inch fish. Look at that, he's just running away. That's crazy. This is a better fish. That'd probably go. That'd probably go 11 or 12. I'll keep that one. I'll keep that guy. doing today putting, them, putting a hurting on some crappie Normally, I keep that shit. it's just not doing it today Do what? Oh, lunch. Oh, that's a little one. Oh, that little one's fighting really good. Yeah, absolutely. Crappie destruction. Double jig rig madness. Not bad at all. That'll keep. It's not a hundred, it's close. Really, it's not a good fish. That that's a good fish there. That's a great fish. We'll keep that one. It's not even worth it. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I'm out with my buddy Jighead Gage again. He just said the words that if it's not an 11 inch crappie, I don't want it. 
let that let that sink in for a second and while that's sinking in go ahead and smash that like button because we're slaying crappie now after you've had a little bit to think about that an 11 inch crappie isn't worth it if that doesn't tell you what kind of day we're having i don't know what will there's another one. Ooh, yeah. This feels like a good fish. Oh, it's because it is. My word. Absolutely. Tankzilla. Now, wow. There was definitely a couple there. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gents. That right there is an easy 12, 13 inch crappie all day, every day. Put that in a bucket. Yep. Another good one. Not really though, not really at all. I don't think I'll keep that one. Yeah, I don't think we'll keep that one. Him's just a little guy compared to the rest. That's still probably a nine inch fish. Yep. Big Daddy. Not really. All right, fish there, too. So we're just standing on this rip rip rap line, and that that's the deal. There are, they're all up on these rocks. I'm assuming probably for the heat, maybe they're spawning also. I know we got a few spawners, but we had a pretty nasty cold front come through. Went from being like 70 degrees to 35 degrees. And uh, it's a pretty brisk morning, but we're out slamming some paper lips, you know what I'm saying? on the bottom. Not big enough. Not quite gonna do it for us today. We're doing too good. All right, everybody. That's gonna wrap it up for today's episode on Twin Rivers Outdoors. Hope you guys enjoy what you saw. Um, use that double jig rig, it's awesome. It makes a world of difference if you're struggling or just make simple changes all around. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Caught some awesome crappie today. I bet we caught over 100 fish. We just didn't show them all. You couldn't show them all or you'd be watching a YouTube video for two hours. But hey, that's what it's all about, getting outside and getting it done. Anyway, we are on the road to 100 subscribers as you guys saw in the last video. Uh, we're getting there. Or at around the 65, 70 mark, I'm sure by the time you guys are seeing this. But thank you guys for all the support. Smashing that like button, leaving me comments. It's awesome. I love to see it. Leave me comments on what you guys like, what you dislike, anything. I wanna I wanna read all about it. Use that comment section as like a discussion. You know, I'll respond to every single one of them that I can. But yeah, keep it going, guys. We're doing awesome. And like I said before, this channel's nothing without you guys. Um, I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you for joining Twin Rivers Outdoors. Catch you guys later.